Now this is a story about the ant. It is an everyday story of corporate life. I would like to thank whoever first developed this story and made it available by circulating it on the internet. Every day, a small ant arrives at work very early and starts work immediately. She produces a lot and she was happy. The chief, a lion, was very surprised to see that the ant was working without supervision. He thought that if the ant can produce so much without supervision, wouldn't she produce even more if she had a supervisor? So he recruited a cockroach who had extensive experience as supervisor and who was famous for writing excellent reports. The cockroach's first decision was to set up a clocking-in attendance system. He also needed a secretary to help him write and type his reports. And he recruited a spider who managed the archives and monitored all his phone calls. The lion was delighted with the cockroach's reports and asked him to produce graphs to describe production rates and to analyse trends so that he could use them for presentations at board meetings. So the cockroach had to buy a new computer and laser printer. And he recruited a fly to manage the IT department. The ant, who had once been so productive and relaxed, hated this new plethora of paperwork and meetings which used up most of her time. The lion came to the conclusion that it was high time to nominate a person to take charge of the department where the ant worked. The position was given to the cicada, whose first decision was to buy a carpet and an ergonomic chair for his office. The new person in charge, the cicada, also needed a computer and a personal assistant who he brought from his previous department to help him prepare a work and budget control strategic optimization plan. The department where the ant works is now a sad place where nobody laughs anymore and everybody has become upset. It was at that time that the cicada convinced the boss, the lion, of the absolute necessity to start a climatic study of the environment. Having reviewed the charges for running the ants department, the lion found out that production was much less than before. So he recruited the owl, a prestigious and renowned consultant, to carry out an audit and suggest solutions. The owl spent three months in the department and came up with an enormous report in several volumes that concluded, the department is overstaffed. Now guess who the lion fires first? Why, the ant, of course, because she showed lack of motivation and had a negative attitude. So, what can we learn from this story? Well, in this story, each decision is based on resolving a superficial issue. Each issue, however, is a symptom of the previous resolution. Because there is no dialogue between the relevant people, the problem is quickly compounded with each step in the wrong direction. Resources are wasted and out emerges a disillusioned workforce and an out-of-touch CEO. This could easily result in the collapse of the organisation. Now imagine simplifying communication avenues to the point where everyone has a say. Imagine empowering your workforce to contribute to their own success. Take away their freedom to fail and learn 
and you take away their opportunity to succeed. Let them take the reins of their own performance management and simply track how well they perform. It is not uncommon, particularly in these days of regulation and compliance, for many employees to be employed purely to monitor others. While some of these are sensible to protect the business, the rest are an expensive overhead. Many small companies think the answer to growth is more. More capital, more management, more processes. Instead, more creates work. It slows down output and it increases the chances for mistakes and clogs. We add more complex technologies to streamline processes only to find that we need to change our workflows and a technically trained administrator to use it, meaning a new product plus a new hire. Conforming your business around these technologies is not only dangerous, it's unnecessary. Your IT should support your business and contribute to its success, not be an overhead. Please note, the characters in this story are fictitious. Any resemblance to real people or facts in any organisation is pure coincidence. Or is it? If your organisation could do with some independent change and transition management skills delivered on an affordable part-time basis, then email info at interimco.co.uk for more information or check out our website. You can also link to me on LinkedIn or follow me on Twitter for useful and business-oriented tweets. Thank you for watching and listening to my version of the ant story. If you have enjoyed this, please share this link with all your friends and colleagues. Thank you.